Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the end of the program for the 13th Annual General Meeting of the IGF. This year, we once again saw the value and the importance of the IGF as an intergovernmental forum, embracing all stakeholders along the mine mineral value chain. The largest ever number of participants to the IGF's 2017 meeting and the seven countries that have become new members over the past year are testament to the excellent work done by IGF Secretariat. We congratulate the IGF on your great achievements. At the last year's closing, UMTED highlighted that one promising area that deserved further attention was artisanal and small-scale mining. Because to a large extent, artisanal and small miners remained ignored and marginalized by policymakers, donors, and general public. We are very happy to see this year the IGF chose this important theme and spent the past three days examining and debating on managing artisanal and small-scale mining, guided by a distinguished group of experts before an enthusiastic audience. In addition, Important topics from previous year's IGF annual meetings, such as post-mining transition, the opportunities and challenges in SDGs and mining are debated again this year. We want to applaud the IGF for its continuous substantial contribution to improved understanding of these critical issues. Agenda 2030 for Sustainable Development give us a roadmap to ensure a future of prosperity, dignity, and a better planet for all. As we heard this week, artisanal and small mining is recognized to generate jobs, reduce poverty, and provide livelihoods for millions of people in developing countries. However, the poor of management of SM could cause environmental, social, and health concerns, which threaten the advancement of the SDGs as our Deputy Secretary General highlighted at Tuesday's opening. Diverse views, various approaches, and different country experience were shared on how to formalize and manage the S sector. We heard interesting ideas on a decentralized regulation process to allow for quick response to mining opportunities, a call for SM hubs to demonstrate positive contributions of the sector to global development, adoption of the voluntary principles as an additional layer of safeguard to help mitigate SM-induced conflicts and violence. As some delegates stressed, there's no size fits all solution considering unique country and community contexts. We at UNCTAD also underscore an inclusive approach to involve all the stakeholders in the discussion of the challenges and possible solutions, one formulating and implementing policy interventions. In addition to the inclusive approach, we also put emphasis on interagency collaboration, as well as South-South, North-South, and triangular cooperation, when providing demand-driven technical assistance to our member states. Furthermore, when we design and implement our technical assistant projects, we adopt an integrated policy approach to address economic, social, and environmental dimensions of sustainable development challenges. At UNCTAD, we commit to assisting commodity-dependent developing countries to reduce commodity dependence and maximize sustainable development gains from commodity production and trade. Most mining CDDCs export raw materials with little value added. The high dependence made these countries vulnerable to market price fluctuations and underdeveloped linkages between the mineral sector and the broader economy lead to the sector's limited contribution to job creation and economic diversification. Our UNCTAD program on mining and SDGs focus on the following four work work streams, increasing value added to raw materials, integrating to climb, uh, integration to and climbing up the regional and global value chains, 
strength link developing linkage to transforming mineral resource wealth into sustainable development gains that benefit the rest of the economy, and last but not least, promoting diversification and structural transformation. We welcome mining CDDCs to approach UNCTAD for your development leads. We also look forward to working closely with other international organizations and international forums to provide concrete and evidence-based policy assistance contributing to mining CDDC's achievement of the SDGs. One project we are currently rolling out is to produce country case studies on sustainable job creation in the mining sector, tracking the number, the types, and the quality of jobs created linked to the mining sector activities. The first two case studies will be conducted in Ghana and Sudan, analyzing the breakdown in total jobs created in the study country's gold mining sector, as well as evaluating the effectiveness of policy interventions in fostering sustainable job creations in this sector. We hope to present the results of this study in the next year's IGF annual meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a very exciting and productive couple of days. The insightful and well-constructed interventions by the panelists, followed by interactive debates, allow us to different perspectives and invite us to refine our individual thinking and approaches to the complex issues we endeavor to address. We want to thank the IGF Secretariat for choosing UNCTAD to host its annual meetings. Every year, we at UNCTAD benefit from the intellectual exchanges taking place during the meeting week the meeting also provides us another platform to showcase UNCTAD ongoing work in the area of mining and SDGs. UNCTAD is committed to strengthening our relationship with the IGF Secretariat and its hosting institution, IISD. And we look forward to the next session of the annual general meeting in Geneva in later 2018. Thank you. <laughs>